Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about sample data sets which are available in R for doing the exercises or practice of the R commands. So here in R Studio, if we go to this uh, bottom right uh, section of the screen and we find this packages tab, under this packages tab we have a package called data sets. So this package contains the uh, sample data sets which you can utilize and apart from that uh, you also have a mask data set so for data sets package you don't really have to use the command library and then put uh, data sets to basically start using the uh, all the data sets which is available in this package this is generally the case in all these different packages which is available like ggplot or graphics that if you want to use any of the script or command which is available in there you need to first uh, import it by using the library command but without even doing that if we want to use the data sets which is available in that then we can start writing the name of those data sets so before writing if you want to explore what are the data sets which is available to us we can go in here uh, on this link and see the available data sets. So ability.cov, uh, so ability and intelligent test, air miles, air passengers, air quality, etc. So if I want to see air passengers, then I would just go ahead and write air passengers. So as soon as I write starting AIR air and then just write P, it starts giving me the option hey this is what you want to write and I would say yes and press tab and enter so as soon as I and do the uh, press the enter the data set is now visible to me so now I can see whether it is useful for doing a practice or an exercise to uh, of the R commands apart from this if you want uh, other data set it will be a similar exercise say for example we want uh, attitude data set then I will just say attitude and the information will be present over here now if you are interested in seeing this data set uh, into some kind of a different window then what you can you can use the command view so this is a view will with capital V and here within this you need to specify the command uh, the data set name ATTI e attitude and now here my data set information is available here I have couple of options uh, so this is the option to show this result in a separate window or if I want to do a filter I can click over here or if I want to do some kind of a global search then I will just start writing the information over here so let's say uh, we want this result into a separate window I'll just click over here and now the results are in a different window uh, in a popped up window where I again have these option of filter so if I want to do a filter now you see these small text boxes are available down below the column name so if I just start for numerical range it is giving me this uh, range uh, option where I can choose hey this is what the range I'm really looking for it will gonna filter the data right so this is one option another option is if you want some kind of a global filter that wherever it find the uh, the searched uh, number or text it will start uh, populating or filtering that result. So for example five zero so wherever it has found five zero it has filtered that thing and now information is available to us so this is really useful uh, when you are actually uh, uh, grilling the data and figuring out okay uh, how the data is or if there is any missing number or a special number that you are looking for then you can utilize these filters things and uh, start grilling the data all right so for now I'll just close this the main idea was to show you the available data sets so here is the data set which is sorted alphabetically from A B C uh, and in most of the example you will find uh, uh, a data set called iris it has been used I mean I think uh, in hundreds of examples that you would found in different websites or on YouTube videos that people have used this 
to explain the functionality of R or R Studio or within the R Studio. So let's go ahead and use it again if you have already seen it. So if I write Iris and press enter. So this is basically a data set where I, uh, of some flowers where sepal and sepal width, petal, petal and petal width and then the species name. So this is a da another data set which has been used a lot even in the books also. I have seen in a couple of books that this the example of this data set being used to explain the functionality. But you have a lot of options over here uh, that you can explore and see which one is making sense for you and start using that. Now after this uh, a normal data set uh, package which is always available to you irrespective of whether you are importing it or not by using library command you have the mass package. So it support functions and data sets for variables and replace mass. So if I go in there here I have few of the data sets like AIDS2 which has Australian's AIDS survival data. So if I start using it AIDS2 it will give me this uh, error where it says objects AIDS2 doesn't fall. So for that you need to import the library library or import the package library mass as I hit enter. It is giving me some warning but that's fine and uh, let's go ahead and now use the same AIDS2 and now I have the data in front of me. So it is a big data set may not be visible to you completely so let me go up and see if we have no not really. So in that case when the data is not completely visible and even I don't know what are the column names which is present in there there are two things I can do. To actually see only the column names I can give a command called names and enter the data set name and here are the names state, sex, die, death, status, t dot catech and h or I can simply use view command like I did earlier where I had the data set populated over here. So if I go in and start view h2 and hit enter now I have this entire information. I can pop this data out in a separate window and I can scroll up and down based on my requirement to grill the data or to better understand the data what kind of information is in there. So here uh, if you are seeing the status now is this status doesn't column doesn't make a lot of sense to me because I really don't know what is D and what is A. So if you want to really know about this thing we need to go in to AIDS2 data set which is available here and as soon as I click it it will show me the uh, column description. So state means okay group state of origin sex means sex of the patient male or female diag means Julian date of diagnosis death Julian date of death status A means alive and D for dad. So now it makes sense to me that okay if this is an observation and if D it has then it means that has happened or A means alive. Then I can do create a cross table or bar chart or whatever I really want to do to practice or to explore the data. Now I can do it because now I understand it. T dot category means reported transmission category. Okay then it makes sense to me and then H here so this is pretty much self explanatory. So that's how uh, if you are not really sure about a data set column that what it really tells you can always go in into the data set. If I go back uh, that's how you can just simply click on the data set hyperlink and go in, in there. So these are the data sets which is uh, always available to you uh, and you can explore these so that you can practice your commands uh, which you are seeing in books or on YouTube uh, videos. Uh, apart from this if you are really uh, a data hungry person and need and your needs are not satisfied by this uh, these data sets then I have a website for you which I use it frequently to create the examples or to demonstrate a particular, fun particular functionality 
and that website is gapminder so if i go in, in there and go to this gapminder link so i am not connected to internet so let me just connect to the internet give me a moment and i'll just connect to internet all right i am now back in the modern age from the dinosaur's age and i can now just hit refresh yeah so gapminder this data is now available to me uh, the website is available to me and i can go into the data section and here in this data section i have a lot of information so this is basically a public data set which you can find it on uh, the world bank site or or those websites which publicly collects the data of different countries and put the information but here in this case they have further refined it they, you can visualize it download it or view it according to your needs so because it is in excel uh, the uh, format is in an excel so it's easy for me to just download it and start exploring it instead of some csv file and all so i use it uh, this uh, or explore this site uh, to get the data uh, for creating an example or anything so if you are data hungry then you can explore this site a lot and uh, satisfy your data needs so this is i think pretty much all i wanted to discuss in this video by explaining you that uh, you really don't have to look for uh, or find uh, uh, you know look for these different websites and all to get the data sets to do the exercise and to do the practice but you have the data available in there are uh, to do your exercise and or to explore and study the r programs apart from this you can go to gapminder and satisfy your data needs so that's pretty much all i wanted to discuss and i'll meet you in the new video with a new topic